used AI to make this video. Step one, I use. Oh I'm gonna need like a few to process this. We all know artificial intelligence generated art has been going wild in the past few months. It's been everywhere. So I figure why not go on TikTok to see what the people are doing with it. All right, so let's go on TikTok and let's type artificial intelligence. All right, let's see what we find. No, no, I haven't slept for a week. All right, calm down already. AI. It's very loud. Who are you? And the results are absolutely horrifying. This AI image generator is- Imagine like this is Sofia the robot. Uh, that would be very funny. Let's see what it comes up with. Called Mid Journey. I'm warning you, this is pretty yeah, funny. I use Mid Journey. So, Mid Journey, who are you? The first image you spat out here is kind of awesome. So Blade yeah. Runner vibes, look at this thing. That's it's cool, like it's a, like spooky. Blade Runner poster, this is cool. It's a little creepy, again, with the context of who are you. What else has it got? Now it's starting to get a little creepy. There. Now I don't like this at all. I don't like this one little bit. Mm. This is almost like two people about to kiss in a sunset, so sure. Oh, but the last, last one's one's so, so much worse. Great job. Really? He's freaking out because of this? So yeah, I don't know. I think the first one was like cooler and scarier. This is not that cool. Asking AI to finish my drawing. Oh, I, I've sort of seen this feature before. This is Dali 2. Dali 2, it's insanity. Huh. I mean, I wish like we could see the whole thing. Probably did draw the whole Eiffel Tower. I will say the cat looks a little bit more realistic than the other two parts that the AI drew. But it did a really good job of like blending it. Also, the composition, it's like really pretty, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it's still very impressive that AI can do this thing, so... This, but you see, it's not real. Whoa. The Dallas, no Photoshop, all AI, stop motion created with DALI. So probably what they did here, it's the other feature that they did before with the cat. Probably they like masked out where the previous cup was, or maybe there wasn't even a cup there. And then they kept replacing it with different cups. A little bit wonky, but still it's like pretty impressive. I think this sort of style or vibe would be very cool to use in a film. You know, a film of someone sort of struggling with reality and it's sort of like hallucinating. Let's say an Inception type of film, I definitely see this there. This one was fun, I enjoyed this one. Next! Design your book cover using AI tools in minutes. Go to Dolly and describe your story as a prompt. To get better results, try as specific as possible and iterate a couple of times. Once you're happy with the result, go to Canva.com and click book cover. Pick your favorite template. Upload the AI generated image and add final touches. Let's look at the result. And this is how to design your book cover. All right, hold on. Hold on. I mean, the illustration, it's, it's a good illustration. I think the illustration itself, it's good. Now, using Canva and then that font, I'm gonna have to question all of your artistic decisions, Mr. AI explains AI. I am an AI avatar explaining AI. So you're telling me that this thing here, it's not real? I refuse to believe that. Because I know we have our CG influencers like Little Michaela, I think that's her name. But this is next level. Like this dude here, he looks too real. But actually now that you look at him, there's definitely something off about him, but he looks too real at the same time. He looks too real, so for my own sanity and my own peace of mind right now, I'm gonna pretend that he's a human, he's lying to me, he's lying to us, and we're gonna move on. Also, if you need a book cover, look for an artist. Using AI to expand album covers. Huh. I did a video with album covers, here it is. And fun fact, I did this album when I did this video, but I didn't include it in the edit because I didn't think it came out well, this was my result. This feature here of DALI, I saw it on Instagram, so I'm gonna go on Instagram really quick. Yes, I am both on Instagram and TikTok, here they are. You guys need to look at this. So basically it's called Out Painting, and they outpainted the girl with a pearl earring, and it's insane, like look at the detail, and it really captured 
perfectly the aesthetic or the paint style and they just kept you know going and expanding it this is very impressive this is amazing i'm sure you know this will come in handy for a lot of reasons and probably myself eventually will take advantage of this feature enough of that let's continue on tiktok i asked ai to show me what mental illnesses look like all right pause one of the things that i think ai or i would assume ai would struggle the most with it's in emotions so let's see how it interprets the Depression. I like that. I was actually expecting this to be very dark and everything very black and white. So I do like the use of colors here. They're very muted and they're very sad looking still. So I do think the AI did a really good job on interpreting depression. Let's see if this person did more of these. Okay, there's ADHD. Let's check out that one. I mean, this literally looks like a Transformer or a Digimon. This one's fun. I think this gives more like social media overconsumption. And then this last one, I don't think it looks like ADHD at all. Let's go back and keep scrolling. Getting dressed with Dali 2. Oh, wait, no. Oh my god, he's gonna put clothes on him. No way. How real? I wonder how realistic this will look. Um, I mean, it definitely looks a little bit fake, but. It's definitely a cool thing to play with. And I am not upset at this because this, you could use it as inspo or something and then use that to create a real piece that you can actually wear instead of, you know, creating an illustration for a book, slap it on and then just sell it. So yeah, I'm okay with this. This is, this is cute. Photo of a big ol... Okay. Oh, I mean... This is cute. This reminds me of, probably you guys have seen this, you know, the flipbook animation where you actually take a, a flipbook and you draw on each page. This is an example that I did like years ago. And then you sort of morph one thing into the next. Hopefully you understood the idea. But yeah, this is to me giving AI generated flipbook animation. Ironically, I'm enjoying a lot of these things today. So next, asking AI to draw a world without humans. I mean, this looks very, uncanny but also kind of cool too and this looks like that game age of empire where you start a game that it's like virgin lands you know where like the humankind hasn't destroyed everything that's what this is giving i would agree the earth would be better off without us but unfortunately we're here so wait what You know, I'm gonna need like a few to process this now. Because like if you look at the other one with the clothing thing, it's nowhere near this. I actually don't know what to say. She definitely used a few programs instead of just Dali and she did some coding which I didn't understand. But that doesn't mean this is not extremely impressive regardless. Or right, I need to watch this again. I hate this. I'm terrified. I'm scared, but I'm obsessed with this. Oh my god. But yeah, I mean, basically, this is a mix of the other fashion video we saw and then the cop video. If you mix them together, I truly have no words. Here are three things you should know. Oh, here's your little fake friend again. Never write your content from scratch. Use AI copywriter tools instead. Never design your content from scratch. 
Use AI design templates instead. Never spend too much money on filming in a studio. Use AI avatars instead. You can create videos from text with over 60 avatars. I'm also an AI avatar from Synthesia. Follow for more about AI tools. So basically, he's saying not to do anything original, put zero effort, and then actors, they're coming for you next. This is terrifying for humanity, and Google is trying to cover yeah, it up. Yeah, this is Google terrifying for humanity. For sharing transcripts of a conversation he had with Google's AI system, Lambda. As he claimed the AI was sentient. Essentially, he claims that this AI is aware and has emotions. Scary. Like human beings. Let me read out the conversations they were having with this AI because it will send chills down your spine. I don't want chills down my spine. I'm fine. I'm gonna skip this one, so next. The thing where you put your birthday into the AI to see how you died in your past life. Alright, let's see it. Wait, is that 9 11? This is getting out of hand. This is too much by now. Also, to this kid, you were born before. Just putting it out there. But yeah, I think that's enough for today. We can just move on. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed that as much as I did, because I truly did enjoy that. There were like a few things that were really, really fun, amazing, and shocking in good and bad ways, both. Let me know in the comments which was your favorite video. Mine was like the fashion girl with the, the changing outfit as she was walking. That was insane. If you want to see me playing with AI, here's a video that I did where I recreated famous album covers using Me Journey. I'll see you in the next one.